Hi, welcome to Gretsch RV. My name is David Reagan. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how you can turn your lithium battery system back on in the event that your batteries are dead and not charging. So the first thing that you would want to do is locate your lithium battery switches. The battery switches for the lithium ion system is located underneath the ottoman on the passenger side of the vehicle below the access panel. So in this access door here below the ottoman, you will notice that there is two battery switches in this particular location. You may have a unit that actually has four battery switches in this location. That has an earlier unit. So you must realize that it is the same amount of capacity between two batteries and four batteries. The only difference is you have four battery modules or two battery model modules on the new units. So what you would want to do is if your batteries are in the off position, they will have no lights on. And what you will need to do is push and release those switches one at a time until the lights turn on. But you need to have a charge going to the batteries as well. The batteries will turn themselves on, but if there is no charge going to the battery, they will turn themselves back off. So turn the batteries on and then you must plug the unit in to initialize the charge from the inverter charger at that point. Once the inverter charger starts to charge the batteries, you will notice that the switches have, with the blue light rings around them will start to flash. That's just indicating that the batteries are being charged at that point. When you plug your vehicle in, you will notice that the power is coming from the shore power cord and going to the breaker box and then going to the inverter charger. The inverter charger at that point is going to go to the pass-through mode. And once it's in pass-through mode, you will notice right below that is the bulk charge. That is the first charge setting of the charger when it first initiates charge sequence. There is three stages of charge on your batteries, bulk, absorption, and float. So once you have your battery switches on your lithium system uh, turned on underneath that ottoman and the batteries are on, when you plug it in, this is what you should see on your screen, pass through and bulk. You will also notice in the middle of the screen here, the amount of amperage that's being charged to the batteries at that point when you're plugged in. So this is indicating how many amps is getting put into the batteries when it is in the charge mode. So this unit is actually very close to being charged. So it went from bulk to absorption already. And then the next setting is going to be float. Once it is in the float charge mode, that means your batteries are charged fully. So that is how you reinitialize your lithium ion batteries. If your batteries are in fact turned off and not accepting a charge, make sure that the battery switches below the ottoman on the passenger side are actually on and plug your unit in to shore power. You will see this indicator here and then pass through. And then the charger is going to show you what stage of the charger it is in. And then at that point it will do it on its own and fully charge your batteries up. And that is how you reset your charge system on your lithium ion batteries. At that point, the other thing you may want to do if you haven't done it already is download the Lithionics battery monitor app. And you can do that by going to the app store and putting in Lithionics battery monitor and downloading that app. Once you have the app downloaded, you can open the app, connect to your batteries via Bluetooth and then see the state of charge of your batteries and also see how long that it's going to take for those batteries to be charged at that point. If you have any questions, please, you can always call us and or email us at gretchrv.com and or look at the videos on the battery monitor download for Lithionics.